Hi, I'm Alex Newt. Jump ball, Alex Newt. Touchdown. Wide receiver, number 19. Unbelievable, the Hail Mary. Alex Newt makes the Buffalo touchdown catch. And you're in the bowl drive. It was a disappointing Wednesday night at UB Stadium as the Bulls lose to Kent State by a score of 23 to 7. Jim Kubiak, this is not a game that I expected. I'm pretty sure you didn't expect it, and I know Jeff Quinn did not expect this kind of an outcome. Well, absolutely. You come into a game, it's your first conference game, a divisional game, and you expect to play really well. You know, Buffalo really struggled offensively tonight, and I'm not sure they had the answer. There were some injuries, and, and all of a sudden, I think the Buffalo offense was reeling a little bit. I think the defense did a really nice job. They were on the field a long time, but you got to take your hat off to Kent State. They came in here and played very efficient and physical football. Well, the results of this game did not dampen what was a terrific night on the UB campus. National TV, a Wednesday night game. The tailgating was terrific. The pregame festivities were great. Let's take a look. I really enjoy that it's a family atmosphere, that I can bring the kids and they can have fun and yet still enjoy good football. Well, we come here all the time. It's great, man. We've been doing it for years. We cook out here and uh, it's a good time. Got live music. We got uh, games, people having a good time. Gotta have some brownies. If you haven't been here, you gotta come down here because it's one huge party. You can see this is our custom Baja grill trailer. It's independent rear suspension. You have people that you know around you. Everyone's here to support the school and support Buffalo. We want to celebrate our Bulls so when they make their way down for the parade, they can see that their school and their community supports them. I love it because you have the alumni, you have the young group, and it's just a good, just a good crowd. We love it. It's a family atmosphere. It's a great time for everyone. It's free to park. Traffic is in and out in two minutes. It's just a real easy place to have a nice family picnic. I'm joined by Bulls radio color analyst Jim Kubiak. This whole evening, this whole game changed the moment Brandon Oliver suffered his injury and had to leave the game. Uh, when we found out about it, you could just, the emotions go out of you and you know that that had to affect the team also. Well, absolutely. He is the engine of this offense and really everything is built around his ability to run the football, the zone read stuff, the jet sweep stuff. It's all built around Brandon Oliver. So when he goes down, I think Buffalo really starts to take a look at what do they want to do offensively, and I think that could have huge implications. And it makes them a lot easier to defend when you take out one of the best players in the Mid-American Conference out of your offense. Yeah, and, and Coach Hazel came in here stating specifically that he wanted to take away the running game of Buffalo. He wanted to make Buffalo a one-dimensional team, and they, they did that. They shut down the run and forced Buffalo to pass and, and obviously uh, put Buffalo in a situation they didn't want to be in. Well, even after Brandon Oliver was injured and out of the game, there was a fleeting moment of, uh, of excitement. Well, another Hail Mary. It's hard. You, you, some people never see one of them in their life. UB fans have now seen two of them in five seasons when Alex Zordich connected with Alex Newts at the end of the first half. Let's see what they can do with five seconds. Zordich in the pocket, rolls out to the right. He's going to throw it deep down the field. Jump ball down there. It's caught. It's oh, a touchdown. What a play. It's a Buffalo touchdown. Unbelievable. The Hail Mary. I just saw the ball was going to be a little bit short. So uh, instead of running my actual route depth, I cut it off early. Just try to get up over everybody, get the ball, and uh, make a play for our team. And it was the last play of the half. It was a Hail Mary. Uh, Zordish does a great job. He escapes the rush and he, moving to his right and throws the ball up. And Newts does a great job in bringing it in. And, and suddenly there was life back in the offense and life back in, in the Buffalo Bulls. And unfortunately, I mean, at that point, it's a six point game. Right. You got to remember, it's a six point game. And, you know, they had an opportunity, but losing Brandon Oliver, I think, really had that offense reeling in the second half. Yeah, they couldn't capitalize on any of that momentum. For a good part of the second half, it remained a six point game, just one touchdown down away from the potential to take the lead, but the offense just could never really maintain any kind of sustained plays or any kind of sustained drives. Yeah, and quarterbacking in general tonight was dismal. The total quarterback completion attempt ratio was 18 of 54, and that's way below par for this level. Well, there was one player who did his very best to try to keep the Bulls in this game and maybe even try to win it all by himself. Khalil Mack was unbelievable tonight. He'll fake the handoff on first down. Rushed by Khalil Mack, grabbed and sacked. 
Khalil Mack drags him down back at the 38-yard line. You felt like he knew Brandon Oliver was out, and it was his turn to take over. 12 tackles, two sacks, four tackles for losses. Uh, he was incredible in this game. Fakes the handoff, bootleg to the left, hit by Khalil Mack, and brought down. Another sack by Khalil Mack. He is an incredible athlete and, and the best defensive player that Buffalo has and a guy that is destined to play in the NFL. I mean, he's the total package. He can play with power. He has great range. Uh, he's a guy with a super motor, and, and he really showed up here tonight, and unfortunately, it wasn't enough for Buffalo. It's all a part of uh, moving forward and forward and uh, making sure that uh, we can get past this and not feel sorry for ourselves. We have a great football team. Uh, we're going to get guys back out there, and uh, we're going to get a feel for everything and correct our mistakes and come back and get ready for the next game. Well, you've been on enough teams to, to have the occasion occur when one of your best players is injured and can't play in a game. How do you as a teammate, how does this team as a whole adapt and adjust to the possibility that Brandon Oliver may have to miss some time? Well, like Coach Quinn says, it's the next bull in, and Brandon Murray did a great job, and you know he's going to have to step up. And I think Buffalo is going to really evaluate what they want to do offensively. It has been Brandon Oliver. That is the brand on the Buffalo That's Bulls. Right. And without him, I think that they're going to have to find a new identity. Well, we'll find out exactly what that identity may be. Bulls get a little extra time off before they go back to work. A tough test on the road in the Big East when they take on the Yukon Huskies on September 29th. Oh, oh, oh.